hi everyone thank you so much for coming back to my channel um today is march 19 2020 i'm here at my design studio in downtown danbury um i just wanted to come in here because i know i've been making um some videos in english in spanish so i just don't want anybody to feel like i don't make them in english so i just wanted to come in here and kind of like give you like um my view on everything that i'm seeing with this um coronavirus and what i seen like so i left i live about 15 minutes away from where i am right now so when i left my house um it seemed like there is a lot of people out um i came here because i know i will be the only one here i just had a conversation with my landlord but it was so quick like he was he was not even he did, never came in here so it was so quick everybody's trying to keep that social distancing um in effect because it's so important you know even though we have the faith in god in everything and we believe that we're covered by the blood of jesus you have to have precaution you know um because at the end of the day the virus is a real thing it's something that is contagious so leaving my house and i stopped at the pharmacy again just to get some type of snack because I know I'm going to be here for for a while. I noticed a lot of people shopping and I understand like people are like they want to get out of their house and you know they want to just do something like if it was me you know I don't know what I would do if I didn't have this space here because staying at home for more than two days for me it's hard so at least I can, I'm able to take a drive and just come here you know very limited contact with people so i like that because i need it now right so i'm just here at the studio by myself in the building is the building is very quiet i know there's people here but not a lot and everybody's just kind of in their offices but anyways what i saw in the pharmacy was a lot of people shopping a lot of people on break from work because you know they're at work because they have their name badge i guess where the pharmacy is located is nearby like ha uh, clinics and stuff so a lot of people were on break just buying like something to eat quick um but what i also noticed that people they, they don't understand about personal space even though we're in this mandate by the government about keeping your distance like i'm here paying for my stuff and the lady even though there's a big sign for Walgreens make sure you keep your distance with whatever because the coronavirus she's like almost on top of me like lady let me pay first and then you can move on you know um anyways that's just stuff that I noticing I at the end of the day I feel like people are not really taking it seriously the death toll is going higher and higher I know I just saw on Twitter that Italy reported um, one of the highest um, count of death for the coronavirus just today and the same thing in spain and people in here in connecticut two deaths have been reported and they were saying like the wife of one of the person who passed away for the coronavirus is saying that people are not taking it too seriously and i can see that i saw it at the store when i went i'm like i'm not gonna come back i'm not gonna buy anything unless it's like i have to go to the supermarket which i went last night and that's a that's a whole story that i have to tell you but i so i feel like they're not taking it seriously because there's still people shopping like i had the person in front of me you know i gave her her space so i'm waiting for it to finish she's asking the cashier about points and how much points she's behind it's like there is a national epidemic happening global globally it's not even national it's affecting everywhere like i found you know i went in and out like i know what i want i'm in and out picking up buy and done these people are stopping there's a line for me we're not supposed to be have groups of 10 people there's a line for me and this person is holding the cashier to ask about rewards point like really they're closing down the malls <laughs> and they're it's just that i don't know i guess people are not really taking it seriously um of course i'm not saying go out and live in fear but like have um what do you call it? have some dignity and like have have precaution like there are other people who care you know but anyways what i was saying about the supermarket so i went last night real quick because i yeah i i went and went last week the shelves were empty so i'm like okay let me try again so i waited like to go the hour before they close because i know they're closing early now and 
there are like so many people shopping and what i noticed too here's the thing the government says keep your social distances uh, distance um the president says the same thing they have experts of doctors telling you to keep it this and keep it this and then you see people shopping at the grocery store like the entire family and i'm not saying they have like five three years old or two between two and five years old you have teenagers shopping with their mom and dad it's like do you need to have your six kids shopping with you like you write down a list one person goes and that's it like i just don't understand i feel like people are not taking it seriously they're shopping in groups and there you are trying to do something quick and then when you when you turn around i had like a whole family behind me and now that i'm getting paranoid i was just so surprised to see that you know i also saw a lot of elderly people shopping and they opened the market for them early so they can go and take care of that but there they are you know just shopping and the thing with that is like i'm sure if i go early they're gonna say you this time is for the senior citizens you shouldn't be here i know people they don't have rice and whatever they have to wait until they get a ride but you know it's just stuff that i observe um when i went there but anyways Talking about this thing, the situation that keeps getting worse, but like I said before in many videos, I feel like before it gets to to be gone and out of here, it's going to get really bad before it gets um, really good. So we're going to go all the way in, you know, and I feel like right now we're living that. People are out of work like, like myself. Um, people are not going to school. Graduations have been canceled. School years have been canceled right now. Everything has been canceled up and down. And I feel like this is the really bad part of it. I'm hoping, you know, God knows everything. I'm not trying to be wise on my in my own like understanding because at the end of the day, I really don't know. Um, but one thing I noticed too is like, we have to look at this, what's happening right now, um, and kind of open our eyes because obviously this is unprecedented at least here in the u.s and uh, what we're seeing i mean malls being closed and you know it's not even a snowstorm it's like they're just closing it down because they don't want gather people gathering they're ordering restaurants and beauty salon to close today by 8 p.m like that's it indefinitely they don't even know they're gonna reopen so and i'm sorry i'm like breathing hard and everything but it's just like you have to look at it this way um it kind of like opened your eyes to like people always say you know i want to i can't wait to have a day off i can't wait to do this and the other and you know this is my second day being you know I, of course i'm speaking for myself but this is my second day being off from my other job and i feel like oh my goodness <laughs> i need to do something um the same thing with um you know not being able to see my mom at the nursing home it's really hard and it's been a week already, a week and a half now, and it's really hard for me. And I'm sure that people are going through this. Um, and that just tells you how we take things for granted, how we leave things to, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, you know. Oh, yeah, I'll bring her something this tomorrow. I just feel like we do take time for granted. Um, you never know what's coming, man. Like, January 1st, but we're welcoming 2020 and saying it's going to be a great year, this and that. And I'm not saying that it's not going to be. I'm just saying, like, you really don't know. Like, in January 1st, China was dealing with this situation, but it was not a threat to us. Or at least we didn't know that it, it was ever going to be a threat to us. And here we are, Mar middle of March, and the cities are shutting down in the U.S., which is unprecedented. And I feel like if anything, what we can do, and I mention it over and over again, is pray and get closer with God. Because don't wait for tomorrow. Like, get right with God today. Like, pray, whatever you're watching this, pray and ask God for your forgiveness. Ask God for, to forgive you of your sins, to cover you by the blood of Jesus, to fill you with the Holy Spirit. And just pray because... The, Jesus can come any day, any time. Nobody knows when he's coming, obviously. But I'm saying, like, everything that's happening with the, vi the virus, that tells you how vulnerable we are. You know what it is that you're standing three feet from somebody who hasn't you catch it? That you 
go let's say you go on trying something and that person that trying the clothes had the coronavirus and then you go and try it because it stays in the, on the fabric for nine hours that's we're so vulnerable even though we walk around like we know it all and we're like expert at everything like everybody's an expert at the coronavirus that's why people are not taking it seriously i, I have no clinical background um if anything i probably know more about insurances than anything else and not even like a hundred percent but i'm saying like there's a reason why they're shutting down cities they're shutting down restaurants they're shutting down places it's a contagious thing you can have faith in god yes we know that we're called by the blood of jesus but god never calls you to be stupid okay be smart okay because you're not going to stay in a building that's burning because you have faith that god is going to save you because god is going to say like you got to do something faith without works is dead so you cannot say you know i'm going to go out there and just act like nothing is happening when you know there's a threat that's contagious to you okay be smart like yes you can go grocery shopping and whatever but you know what i did when the minute i got here put my bag down and went and washed my hands out of the way because i was out you know touching the credit card machine whatever like picking up stuff i did that because just to have precaution i'm not saying i'm freaking out about it obviously but just to have precaution and like just go crazy in prayer if anything forget about trying to like you know like people are like i just don't get what people are still taking selfies like it's so crazy to me that's how i see things i'm like people are, they're they're missing the whole point of this if anything in my view i feel like this is just god shaking up a little bit and saying turn to me now because the time is the end is near so we have to just pray Pray, like I said in my previous video, pray for the people who are taking care of people right now. Like, in my case, the people who take care of my mom, like, I pray for those people. Pray that they never lose compassion, love, and caring. Because I know it's hard because the virus situation is affecting them too. They have their kids at home. Who's going to take care of their kids at home? Yeah, they have to leave their house to go into a place where there are sick people to have the compassion and love to care for strangers, people that they don't, they're not related to that. So it's a lot of that we have to pray for the doctors, the paramedics, the nurses, you know, because we have our job outside. Let's say we work outside of a hospital or whatever, and we get stressed out and we're like, I don't want to talk to nobody. These people, they get stressed out. They have a whole line of people that they have to be compassionate about, you know, they have to hear them out. They have to be compassionate to them and make the right decision. So I can only imagine the mind of a doctor right now. Like, just make sure we're praying for them, put, lifting them up in, in prayer to, to Jesus. And that God filled them with compassion and love. And that God released their stress in them. And just keep a, keep praying, guys. You know, we, everything passes. You know, the time doesn't stop. Today is the first day of spring. You know, every season comes with something. Um, the season doesn't stop for nobody. The sun will come back again. I know today is a little cloudy. Tomorrow is going to be sunny and it's going to be like 70 degrees here in Connecticut. You know, and that's what happened. Like when I was in, when 9-11 happened, it was the shock of my life. You know, one of the shocks of my life, right? but i'm sure for everybody and it kind of like traumatized you your entire life because i remember in my college dorm i'm like on that tuesday tuesday the 12th i mean on wednesday the 12th right because september 11 happened on a tuesday on wednesday september 12th i was like wait a second why is this the song out again like did you not see what happened like there are millions of people who are dead like the twin towers are gone like the thing is in life the song continues like everything continues and we just have to be just hold on to god because whatever comes our way god's already ahead of it god's already ahead of it i don't know i cannot get tired enough of saying that god is your creator he loves you so much he just wants you to turn to him he loves you so much that he sent his only son, Jesus, to come and save you, to give you that option to 
not go to hell for your sins, for your sin, for your weakness, um, weakness, weakness, having trouble saying that, but you, I, I know you understand what I mean. Um, turn to Jesus. That's all we have, people. You know, don't, we can, like, look at all these people that go shopping every day. Oh, great deals are Walmart, great deals are Target. What are you going to do with that stuff now? You know? And there's still people who are posting deals. Like, I don't even want to buy anything now. And it's so crazy because I make stuff to sell. And I don't even, you know, I don't, I'm not even advertising it at all. I'm just getting into this, trying to do the videos. And I, I am making stuff because just to clear myself from like, you know, just to keep myself busy during these hard times. I am making more jewelry. I'm, that's why I'm here at the studio too. But at the end of the day, you have a house full of stuff. You have a ha like you have all these diplomas and all this accomplishment that really don't mean anything because at the end of the day, what's gonna matter is do you turn your life to Christ? Do you ask God for forgiveness of your sins? Do you turn your life around? Nothing else is gonna matter, you know? We think we have it all figured it out. Look how vulnerable we are. We're so vulnerable, we don't know anything. It's that being so wise in your own mind like just turn to god and just ask god for wisdom if anything if, if before you even speak or say anything ask god for wisdom what do you want me to say how do you want me to handle this lord um that's just something that i wanted to say to everybody who's watching this and um i really hope i am praying that this virus is pass us very soon um you know, let's pray for the people in authority too. It's hard for them to, because any bad decision, they will be shut down completely. If they say, let's do that, and then that that was not a great, a great decision to do because you wouldn't know until after it's made. People are not praying these days. They want to call you out when you make a bad decision, like you're an expert. Like nobody's perfect, right? Everybody just have to believe that everybody's trying to do their best. Everybody's stressed out. Everybody knows what's happening. So let's put, let's put, let's pray. Like I said, specifically doctors, nurses, everybody working in the medical field right now who is in contact with patients. Let's pray for that. And let's keep praying for the people in authority, the presidents, prime minister, anybody who has been trusted with the authority to make decisions on countries to make decisions on you know shutting down places that people are going to lose money on businesses that are going to you know i just feel like the retail industry is going down and losing two weeks three weeks of not being open it's really going to affect it so that's something else you know yeah they are offering loans but that's also more debt that maybe a struggling store is already struggling with debt. Imagine having another debt on top of that to see, just to reopen three weeks after. So it's something that came to my head. Anyways, I don't want it to make this period too long, but just checking in. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. If anything, you how you can help me is just subscribing and pray. Like I said, just pray that this is all past us very soon. You know, and we're just going to look back and say how grateful we are, how faithful God is, and how it changed us and how close we got to God because we went through this. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Have precaution. But remember, Jesus already gave us the victory. God bless.